when foreign banks steal tens of trillions of dollars from you and your taxes go up, you're, you're not worried about that. You know, they've tried to sell uh, a train, a so-called bullet train from San Antonio to Austin for 20 years. Boondoggle, Republicans don't want it, Democrats don't want it. It's over 80% unpopular in polls. Now it's suddenly popular because they're saying sports fans get to the Spurs game quicker from Austin. Georgetown and Round Rock, and suddenly they're going, yeah, yeah, if it's a sports boondoggle, I'm for it. Let's build a $5 billion train that you got to drive in cars to a parking lot, go through German Shepherd checkpoints, get on the stupid train that still takes 45 minutes to get to San Antonio, then get in trains and go to the stupid basketball game. I don't want to pay for your train, your dungeon. I don't want to be part of your police state. I'm so angry. I'm so sick of it. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of red carpets and helicopters and Air Force One for all these royalty in the government. I'm so sick of old ladies, people having their houses taken when they don't pay their taxes so the rich elite can suck off everybody and they tell us we're not paying our fair share while well, they've got a giant throng of welfare queens and people that are dependent on the system so that they'll vote to take my freedom so they keep getting handouts from the government. People are slaves on the welfare plantations today. It doesn't endorse the old slavery to say that you're a slave today. At least people 170, 180 years ago knew they were slaves and knew people didn't want them having their families together. Now people don't even know that because they brought in high-tech slavery on record and did it and they love it. And now they've got psychological slavery over people. I want to hear from black folks. We're going to discriminate here, black folks only. I want to get your take on this. Am I wrong or am I right? And how do we break this system of control to where they can't say you're racist if you're against Obamacare? 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Now, I want to play a clip of Elizabeth Warren, the senator. We're going to go to break, come back, and start taking your phone calls. Can we push the professor, instead of me having her on the first 40 minutes, can we push the professor to like 15 after? Yeah, yeah. Let's. I really want her on. I saw you testing her Skype. Really look forward to that on epigenetics to get into how the elite are controlling us. But um, I want to get to Elizabeth Warren who I don't agree with on some things, but I think she comes off as a genuine person. And uh, she's on John Stewart's show talking about how the, the game is rigged and how the elite have everything rigged. But he says, but it's always been that way. Well, his brother's the head of the New York Stock Exchange. So he's there kind of whitewashing things. She says, no, it's more rigged now than ever. So here she is telling you what I'm telling you. The ultimate discrimination is that we lived in a rig economy where the winners have already been chosen. They've got you convinced it's, the winners are white people. White people haven't been perfect, folks, but they got a little bit of independence. We're able to build up families and some wealth. So now the elite want that gone, so everybody's poor. So there's no ladder up, ladies and gentlemen. Everything they've done to black folks, they're not doing to everybody. The society's all collapsing. Black folks are just falling the fastest. You're skydiving without a parachute. Don't worry, white folks are 100 feet above you without a parachute as well. We need to figure out how to have a soft landing here and realize the real enemies are, are engaged in divide and conquer. Let's go ahead and go to Elizabeth Warren. Very powerful clip from The Daily Show. And what happened? This government came back and it bailed out those big financial institutions. Today, those big financial institutions are 38% bigger right. than they were in 2008 when we said they were too big right. to fail. They still break the law and nobody goes to jail. No, I don't know about you, but I think no, that's it's wrong. Too much of the rules and the regulations mm -hmm. are written by the lobbyists. No, that, yeah. And so they, uh, it's not a, an over, under, it's a wrong. It's that they keep tilting the playing field to make it work better right. for the biggest corporations and for billionaires. And every time that happens, it works less and less well for families. It really is a rigged game. And it's set up now mm -hmm. over and over and over. And it's probably over. always been. Well, not like this. Right. It's set up over and over and over that the rich get richer and the powerful get more powerful. Right. They've got all the advantages of concentrated money and concentrated power. 
all we got on the other side is we got our voices and we got our votes. Mm -hmm. And if we get out there and make something out of them, right. that's how we make a difference. Right. Every time you tell me that things can't change, yeah. I'll just say back to you. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Yeah. The bank said we will kill it. Yeah. All right, let's they stop right, right there. Right. And she's been calling for some pretty good reforms. The problem is the Democrats' answer was Occupy Wall Street. That's just socialism and raise taxes on middle class. Do what Kennedy did. Cut the middle class tax rate by 50%. Do you know what happened the next year? Tax receipts doubled. I want to explain that again. Tax receipts doubled. Double the money came in. But the government is run by corporations that don't want that because they're not paying taxes. They don't want their competition to have the money. That's you and me. With our industrial base, folks, we should be working two days a week conservatively. The studies are legion. We could all be living like kings right now. Better forms of energy, everything. It's all being suppressed. We're being put into a new dark age. While the elite are moving forward with everything, and they're on a power trip, setting up a police state in case we try to stop them. It's rigged, folks. We've got to start admitting that. And now they want to rig the internet to shut down free speech. Your calls are coming up. You know about Emergency Essentials' lowest price promise. But have you heard about the one-day deals? You can save up to 70%. One-day deal emails go out every Thursday. So sign up at BePrepared.com or all month long. Save 47% on ASAP Silver Solution, 36% on the Mountain House Gourmet Entrees Combo, or 57% on freeze-dried shrimp. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Tired of taking handfuls of vitamin pills? Look and feel super with a great tasting lipid vitamin and mineral supplement called Passion for Life. This incredible one ounce daily drink can lead to better stamina and energy due to faster, more complete absorption. Passion for Life contains 135 all natural whole food ingredients. It's the best tasting, most powerful product of its kind on the market. Order now by calling 844 Try Life or find out much more about Passion for Life by visiting 844 trylife.com. 844 trylife.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. system is training us all to look at each other. That's why we're getting behind. Men against women, women against men, on and on and on. Instead of looking at how the establishment is building an artificial 
system. Here's a CNS News article. Men work full time, earn less than 40 years ago. And then it just goes up from there and they claim, oh, women have, you know, less of an income gap, but it's still not as good. Well, that's because statistically women want to take off more and have children. But again, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the reason we're all behind. We're behind because they're building an artificial system to make us poor. We've got news on the huge developments in Ukraine coming up and a huge Benghazi report. Emails have now been released that the White House did know, Hillary did know, and they were involved, quote, getting together their talking points. Of course they lied. Of course they ordered a stand down. The question is why. That's big news. That's coming up. Right now, let's go to Mankind in Arizona. What is your perspective on the whole Clippers thing? I mean, I think it's distasteful, but why is the media hyping it so much? Meanwhile, when they blew up Gaddafi's regime, all of Africa started collapsing. Oh, uh, Alex, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. All right. Yeah, no, I mean, this is this is starting to become so obvious now, and I'm actually sick of it as well, as far as for how they're they're basically using the black culture to mislead our own black youth. And, but I mean, nobody really cares about this racism stuff anymore. I care about, you know, um, drone strikes being ordered on Clive and Bundy. You know, that's news to me. That's newsworthy. I'm, I'm sick of all of this racism that they put in the news because the only thing that that does is corrupt our own youth, not even just black youth, but youth, period. They act like that's what's the news. Exactly. People wouldn't even be thinking about this. I mean, I'm 40, but I'm still pretty young. I didn't grow up hearing racist stuff. And, and new young people now are all talking about it because they just keep hyping it. And it's actually, in a way, I've seen it bringing it back. I'm hearing under Obama more racist stuff from both sides than I've ever heard. Exactly. Exactly. And especially from once again from the, the the young black community perspective i'm i'm also starting to teach you know the black youth because i'm actually the same age i'm i'm about 38 um but i've seen my own black community from my parents which back then the black community was very 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 prosperous nobody was walking around with their pants sagging nobody was to walking around with guttural slang like that's what it was to be black because that's not that's not well yeah when i was a kid in dallas the black people all dressed nice and then the white people all dressed okay and but, but again it, it, it was the cultural difference that, that the media has now sold through MTV and the rest of it on purpose as a test to say, can we wreck a community in the name of political correctness? And they've done it. I mean, it, it is a great case of mind control. It really is. But I'll tell you like this, the more that we keep talking about this stuff and stuff like that, the more we keep, uh, because I'm starting to notice that a lot more young people are starting to listen to this show. Uh, they're actually starting to listen to uh, my show and things that I have to say because they actually are starting to be able to see, you know, that the mainstream media is not necessarily telling them the truth anymore. Exactly. That's exciting. Everybody should get a show online on things like blog talk radio or do a YouTube show. Everyone should have their voice heard and out of it will show that the establishment doesn't speak for us. We speak for ourselves. Tell folks about your show. What's the name of it? Um, my, my, my website is actually prophetic.com and that's spelled P R O P H E T as in Tom C as in cat. And I basically do the same thing. You know, I talk about, listen, we're out of time. That's exciting. Work. Good to hear from you. God bless. We're going to come right back and talk to P Daryl Hollins, E live. I'm reading that right. We'll be right back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize 
Christ that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWars News.